Hello everybody, this is Bram here. Today, I have a Lucky Block tutorial for you. And I hope you guys enjoy this um, tutorial for you. It's a really good um, system for servers. So yeah, and it's, you can use it on servers and stuff. It's Lucky Blocks. Extremely good Lucky Blocks, I think. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But before I start it, please leave a like and please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah, Let's get started on the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to show you guys the possible outcomes I have set up. I have, like, five generic ones, and you can add on from this based on the concepts I show you. So, the first one, oh, it spawns an item and a mob. And it's really interesting on how it does that, too. So, yeah, uh, it, it was the evoker thing. And then that one's food. And then the next one, ooh, it gives me the speed buff, which is a pretty cool power-up. And then the next one is another um, husk. I don't want to get touched by you, kid. Food, there's one more that's pretty neat. Uh, not the husk, boy. Um, one more. There we go. So it gives a pickaxe and just places like a, what's it called? A pickaxe for you the mine. It, it's a really cool system, I think, and yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make this, like, right now, so, yeah, um, let me get into my game mode, and we got this. So the, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna find a block, and there is a diamond on the floor, okay. So you're gonna wanna find a block you're gonna use for your lucky block. Personally, I use this, just because it looks like a lucky block with the question mark and stuff on. So what you're going to want to do is figure out the name of that block. So the name of this block is question mark, question mark, question mark. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do a repeat, unconditional, always active, zero tick delay with a execute at E type equals item name equals whatever block you have for your um, item. And by the way, you need education addition on to get this block and all the elements. So that's how I have that. And yeah, just your name of the block, tilde, 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 and then you're cloning this block, the block next to it. So right now it's a chest, it's always going to be a chest, so my cords are like that, they're going to be different for yours, but you're cloning that chest next to it and tilde, tilde, tilde. So basically what it's doing is it's taking that block and wherever that block is dropped, it's cloning a chest at that item. It's pretty neat on how it works. And then the next one is a chain, unconditional, always active at zero ticks. And what it does is it executes at the item, or at E, type equals item, name equals question mark, question mark, question mark, or your lucky block item. Tilde, 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 set block, tilde, 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 air, zero, destroy. So it destroys the chest, and whatever is in the chest gets um, pretty much, it, it's on the ground. And then the next one is set block your chest item that like right next to the command block with air so we're set blocking or chain make sure it's conditional always active zero ticks and then we're set blocking the block next to the command block to air so we're set blocking this to air nothing will drop but just you set that the air and it's conditional and the next one is chain conditional always active and what you're doing is executing at a random armor stand, or at R, type equals armor stand name equals lucky block. Tilde, 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 clone, tilde, 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 tilde. <laughs> um, and then your chords for this. Basically, what we're doing is we're taking a random um, armor stand and cloning the block that it's in. So basically, the armor stand... If I took a normal armor stand and put it on the block right there, it's a little higher if you can see. So that means the armor stands inside the chest. So if you go directly on the chest, it's just going to clone the chest, which is um, what the armor stand block is in. And it's cloning a random, it's choosing a random armor stand and cloning the chest right here. That's what this will do. So yeah. Um, pause it if you need to copy it. And yeah, the next one is chain conditional always active and it's kill at E type equals item name equals chest. Pretty simple. 
And then the last one is chain, conditional, always active, and if you need the pause it, pause it. And on this one, it's chain, conditional, always active, and it's kill at E, type equals item, name equals whatever your lucky block is. So it's finally killing the item. So that is just the first part for the lucky block and choosing the random thing. And if you want to do a bunch of item drops like that, so whenever you break the lucky block, it's just going to drop items, all you need to do is go into these chests and just put the items you want to drop in pretty much all of these. But, you know, your boys figured out how to um, make it better. So, um, for example, this one right here. It's going to drop a, a normal diamond sword, and I renamed this r Rotten Flesh to Husk Spawn. So I just put the item in an anvil and renamed it Husk Spawn. So pretty much what this does is in this command block, it's repeat, unconditional, always active, zero ticks, and then it's executing at E, type equals item, name equals Husk Spawn, tilde, 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 and you're sum is summoning a Husk, tilde, tilde, tilde. So summon Husk, tilde, tilde, tilde. So basically, you're summoning a, summoning a husk at this item. And then it's chain, conditional, always active, zero ticks. And then it's killing the item name of husk spawn. So it's basically spawning in, the, spawning in whatever you want to summon. So that's pretty much what that's doing with the, that item. It's a pretty simple one for that. For this one, it's dropping an iron pick. And then I rename this iron ore to ore stack. Ore stack, if I go into this one, it's pretty neat on how this works. It's repeat, unconditional, always active, zero ticks. And then it's execute at E, type equals item, name equals ore stack, tilde, tilde, tilde. And then we're cloning this bottom block to the top block. So we're cloning that to tilde, tilde, tilde. So we're basically cloning this entire stack, so make if you pause it and get your chords right, so the bottom block is the first one and the top one is the second one, or is the second one right there, so and pause it and then till the till the till the is always at the end. So basically what this is doing is cloning this entire block stack at the block. And then what it's doing at the end is chain conditional always active zero ticks, and then we're killing the at E type equals item name equals ore stack. So we're killing the item at the end. So it's basically placing the ore stack and killing the item. It's pretty neat. I, I really like this. So yeah. And then the next one is this. So I named this spike, the arrow spike. So what it's doing is it's choosing the closest player to the item and summoning an evoker spike on it. So it's repeat, conditional, always active, zero ticks. So that's going to be execute at E, type equals item, name equals spike, tilde, tilde, t don't put that A there, um, tilde, 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 execute at the closest player, which is at P, tilde, 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 summon evocation, or however you say that, evocation fang, tilde, 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 I am so sorry if I butchered how to say that, but it's done. But you basically summon an evoker fang at the person's feet. It's really nice on how that works, so... Yeah. And that's repeat unconditional, always active. Zero ticks. And pause it if you need it. And then the next one is chain conditional, always active, zero ticks. And then it's kill at E, type equals item, name equals spike. Pretty neat. I like it. It just kills the item once it executes. The last one is the ability, so it's the speed power, so it gives you speed whenever you run around, um, whenever you um, activate that. So basically what this is, is repeat, unconditional, always active, zero ticks. It's execute at E, type equals item, name equals speed power, or however, what, whatever you want you want. And then it's tilde, 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 effect at the closest player, speed for 5 seconds, you get speed 10, true. So speed 5, 10, true. So the first one is the time. The second one is the power that you want. So this is really speed 11. And then true means no particle effects. 
So pause it if you need it, and it's repeat unconditional always active zero ticks. And then the last one is chain conditional always active zero ticks, and it's kill at e type equals item name equals speed power. So it's basically killing the item once it's done. If you if you've seen a recurring theme, that's what it does. It kills the item <laughs> at the end once you do don't use it. So you get exactly what you need to get. So this is pretty neat. And if I want to throw it, it's going to work as well. And I didn't mean to throw it above the ground like that. But you know what I mean. This will pretty much do whatever you need it to do. And you can set it to do a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, I showed you the basic concept, if you understand, of how to set up some lucky blocks that are really cool. So, yeah. Guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you really loved it, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and to get notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah, guys, I really like this Lucky Block system. I hope you guys too. It's really simple and it's extremely effective. It has some cool stuff that you can use for your practical use. So it's not really just a Lucky Block system as well. But it's like... A concept to understand. I applied it to Lucky Blocks. You can apply it to a lot more, but I don't want to say yet because I want to show instead of say. So, yeah, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for watching this video all the way through if you got this far. And, yeah, please leave a like, subscribe. And this has been Braham, and I'm out.